Hello, everybody. Welcome back in. Today, we're going to be back at doing some art and getting back into the series we started last year with the library scene. So let's go ahead and uh, just jump on over into it. All right, give me a second to get situated here. I need to uh, get my pen out. Position myself. I'm not too much in the way. Uh, maybe right here. Be fine. Yep, we'll go with this. Alrighty, let me get some music going. It'll be interesting to see. I just have it on random today, so we'll see. Hey, Reko, welcome in. Hold on. I'm going to give you nice shout out since you're here thank you for stopping by as always let's see which clip we get Whoa. <laughs> look out he's falling sideways chaos yes <laughs> Well, thank you for coming by. Welcome in. I've uh, I've got a new iPad with my dyno on it this time, and I've changed our layout a little. Got my little pen here. Here, let me move my face so you can see it, my little pen. So we're just going to be doing some art today. Just kind of chill out. So this is where I was last time, and uh, I decided to redo it. So... We left off with this sketch. Nice. I wasn't aware Golobians held things with their faces. Well, it's attached to my membrane. Uh, and we can hold on to things on a microscopic level with our membrane. So uh, that's how I'm holding it. But uh, I didn't like the composition of this piece. It's got it's too flat. But I had gotten this far into it before I decided... <laughs> that it was too flat and it took me quite a while and I was so upset. So I tried out a secondary pose, but I don't like this one either. Still a little too flat. Gotta finish it? Maybe, but I think a lot of the problems I'm having with this one is uh, compositionally. It's just... Because this one was almost done. It's just very... Uh, I don't know. Very flat. I wanted it to be more dynamic. <laughs> so I haven't decided yet. That's why I didn't delete this layer. Because um, I didn't want to destroy it. Just yet. But... I don't know. I guess I could try thumbnailing some. But I may just finish the other one. I'm not sure yet. So I think both have their merit. This really gives you a vastness of the library. And this one gives, I guess, a little more interesting composition. But I'm not sure yet. Yeah, it was going to look something like this. I hadn't started on the line effects yet. But I had the, uh, the painting stuff finished. So, on my friend's suggestion, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. Because Reko knows a thing or two. Great artist. And uh, so, I'll listen. Let's go ahead and 
see where we were. I think the sky's done. Grass is fine. I already see um, that there are some bushes that I need to correct. Not some bushes, but um, an effect here where the bushes used to be bigger that I changed. So let me go erase away the shadow that no longer exists. Get back to my eraser. Let's get that to normal. And... Let's go ahead and fix the shadow in the new part. Gotta turn up that brush size. Might be too big in that one. Yeah, that's much better. And I need to flush out this grass better. You see places where it needed to be filled in. I think I'll also use this grass layer to fill in the holes up here with the uh, garden wall layer. I think the pathway is fine as it is. This bookshelf needs some work though. I'm not quite sure how I want to approach it. I'm gonna try something real quick. Let's try a perspective blur. We'll put the central focus where she is and the, just adjust the the blur accordingly because that is a technique in painting especially watercolor where the outside features are not as defined as the central point uh and it really helps you focus in on the focal point of the painting. I'm just going to zoom this out till it's like a thumbnail. I think it helps a little. So we'll keep it around. change this to multiply pick up our main color make the I'm not gonna turn that way down enough to give it differentiation there between the top and the bottom. I'm going to go 
ahead and delete the other sketching layer. So we have more room as the layers get used up. Okay, now it's time to do some work on the foliage. Let's go ahead and go back down to this layer. I'm gonna go ahead and move this down to the bottom. It's a little more in order. And we're going to uh, get the foliage brush with this pillar. and do some shadows first. And I'll just kind of go in the places where I think it needs to be shaded. I think I really need to turn this brush size down. Let's go ahead and create this as a clipping mask. Alright, let's do an additive layer. Hey, Cryptic! Welcome in! I need to make sure this is also on a clipping mask. Hey, new emote! <laughs> Always good to see it. I'm gonna give you a proper shout out. It's always fun when you come to visit. <laughs> uh, crypt cryptic. Frost. I can't tell who's who anymore. Some nice phasmophobia action. <laughs> Some good old door shenanigans. Ch children, behave. <laughs> We're here. Listen, listen. Be respectful <laughs> to the to the dead. And. <laughs> Just walk through the door. The wrong way for a smart boss. Come on, just go through the door. What's stopping you? Just walk through the door. <laughs> Children. Children are lucky. This is a recent one? Neat. It's good that we got some new clips in. Really? I'm <laughs> this is why the ghost ones revenge. <laughs> Maybe someone held the door uh, from them entering the room and now they're just out to kill anyone who does it. I hope you lived, you know, in that scenario. Oh my goodness, I just blasted your guys' ear holes out. I have to turn it up for clips. Sorry. Sorry for the blast. What did you say? <laughs> I can't hear you. You ruptured my eardrums. Yeah, I'm real sorry for uh, the, the noise there. The bell louder for the people in the back. Gotta get those nosebleed seats. Gotta make sure they got their money's worth in. Okay, let's turn this down. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I wasn't sure how I'd feel. Usually when I use my foliage brush, I don't use the 
clipping mask and I'll kind of use it to make the edges kind of fuzzy and not uniform but I kind of like the shapeliness of what's currently here. Let's go ahead and rinse and repeat for the other foliage. Which sets this one. Okay. Get the back greens over here. Turn the brush back up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to turn that down. This green's a little more aggressive than the others. I'll also go ahead and put some random shadows in because trees aren't uniformly shadowed. Some of them are denser in some areas and more sparse in some areas. So I'll just do some general shape shading and then maybe just a couple random blotches there. And then same thing with the additive layer. Turn this down. I think I'm gonna micro group these two just to get them tucked out of the way. And we've got this wispy tree here. I imagine this one's more of a pine, so it wouldn't be very leafy. It'd be more needly. Let me see if I already got something I can... Got rid of my color pencil brush. I really wish I hadn't deleted it. can make it again. I just gotta remember how I did it. I believe I started with this one. Okay, bring it up here. I made a different shape. library. It was like a triangle, but not that triangle. Maybe in pencils. Not Pinglo. I'm just gonna have to look through it till I find it. things I love about Procreate is the brush creation. There we go, it was this one. Okay, uh... 
I want the taper to be a little more for now. Let's get the grain sorted out. I remember that it was a very smooth grained piece. And I believed it was just pastel paper. Yep, that's looking more like it. Hey, Maestro, welcome in. I forgot to give you a shout out whenever you were shouting out me. Yes, I will also hydrate. Thank you. Let me shout out Maestro. I was, I was trying to type in Maestro and... <laughs> For some reason, it wasn't coming up, and it's because I was just typing in Maestro. I forget your full tag is that Maestro guy. Let's see which one we get. Going all the way up to Sonic Heroes. <laughs> That's always a great time. Uh, don't sweat it. Uh, how you be? This piece is looking great. Well, thank you. It's uh. It's going fine. I almost deleted it, but Reco, Reco convinced me to keep it. So, Reco keeping me from being the destructive artist today. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm just trying to figure out, recreate a colored pencil thing I had done and deleted, because again, destructive artist. Fire and brimstone! <laughs> Alright, uh... There's just... I don't want to do any color dynamics or anything like that. Uh, everything should be fine at this point. Let me just go and rename it. Color pencil. Alright. And let's come over and test it. Make sure I'm a multiply. Kind of do it like this. We'll see where it goes. to not have this line of clipping mask. Whoa, that tree is looking prickly now. That's probably good. I need to turn down the stabilization on this one a little. We'll do 50%. Just trying to get some lighter, shorter ones in here. Okay, and then let's try to get some in perspective, shorter lines here. I 
don't know if I like that. I'm gonna have to do some thinking. Maybe I do want to do a clipping mask. It's because the others are so vastly different. All right, foliage brush. Let's try to work with you. Okay, this may be more along the lines of what I'm looking for. I will just say evergreen. But I really would like to excuse me. Is one thing I hate. I'd like to go over, please. There we go. Stop! I just went there! Let me do the thing! Come on! <laughs> just... Let me do the thing! Thank you! Was that so hard? <laughs> Okay, I'm good. I forgot to give out that hydrate. You know, nothing cools down the nerves like drinking water. We're gonna do that. All right, tree, round two. Let's do this. I'm gonna clear this. And let's just try to... We'll get like a general shading. Like this. Okay, and then let's turn down the brush. Size a little more. Too much. Still too much. Okay. Still not digging it. Clear it up. Okay. 
There we go. Assisted clipping, please. And an additive layer. This can be our generalized light layer. We'll just get it on the edges there a little bit. Again, my fat gill hands that are non-existent. My hands on my mind. Okay, let's. See how that looks in comparison to the rest of the image. I need to turn down the general light layer quite a bit. Okay, and then we'll group these. I think that's an okay look for now. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing with this kind of tree right here. Make sure I turned it down to multiply. I think this one will be a little more centered this way. Just do a general this brush a little and we'll do the same
I don't want to get bogged down in that. Let's continue on to a different thing. I think I'm going to do the foreground one first. This could go back to the regular foliage brush. That's a little small. We need it a little bigger. Definitely get it darker in the corners. Shaded under here where it's bent. Ooh, keep doing it. Change it to add. do that. Let's focus the light on the tips focusing on the object. To kind of give them more focus. And then I'll just put some random light patches in here. Aren't too um, too bright, just to give it some texture. Then we'll turn it down. And I'm just going to come in here and intensify these corners a bit more. I'm going to make sure that I think I'm going to group these and I'm going to get them out of the foliage group and above the book group. Yeah, that fixed that problem I was having. But I forgot to do the lighting on the top right here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I think that's good. Now we just need to do the hanging bushes. I did it right that time. Yay! I'm going to turn down the size on this because they're going to be a little farther away. Again, a little darker on the edges. Okay, and just random splotches.
Okay, same here. We're going to make this one lighter towards the center. And just kind of give it some highlight. Lighter highlights elsewhere. And that's just part of composition because the eye is naturally drawn to the lighter spaces. So if you make your values uh, the brightest toward the focal point, it naturally draws the eye in. And of course, if you make the edges darker, it helps ease the eyes away from those parts. I'm going to make this much more saturated. Well, I gotta turn it down a bit. Okay, and I think that's good for the foliage. Now we can move on to the other details. I need to bring back or turn up the line layer so I can see how those were supposed to be separated. I forgot to turn my notification sounds off. There we go. Much better. Uh, does she have a flashlight with her? Uh, no. This, um, paper airplane here is magical and it glows. So that's why it's lighter towards the middle. Uh, and we can see that if I go back here, see it's got a little glow to it. Um, so the magic, uh, paper airplane is going to be in all the pieces. So her glowing magic airplane here is what's giving her light. Is this a piece of gift for someone? No, this is a personal, um, a personal thing for, uh, my human ham. So it's just stuff based on her, her life and the construction of her inner psyche. So like this one here uh, is directly based on her and her maternal figure. So it's just uh, something for me and my human, I guess. Oh, well, thank you. We're going to um, be doing several pieces. These bottom ones are just uh, brushes I had made, but let's see. I think there, if I remember correctly, there's 13 in the original uh, set. And I found the original sketches. Uh, I'll be uploading those probably for next time to show them off where it all started. Um, but they're just very thumbnail-y. They're very much like this one here. That's like all they, there is to them. Jixoy, welcome in. But I have their descriptions and stuff on a piece of paper we were able to bring back from our winter vacation. I'm going to give uh, Jixoy a nice proper shout out. Welcome in. I hope your day was going great. Let's see what clip we get. You're doing great for someone who's not looking. 
much better than I could have done. <laughs> okay. Was not looking. Oh, Tom's here. Was not looking. Oh, Tom. <laughs> uh... Dexoeb Pizza Tower. Yes, I've seen that. Uh, please tell me Maestro is here, because that would be three times in a row. Um, yeah, he is. <laughs> you just keep running into him today. Can't avoid him. Maestro, you might want to get a bodyguard. Dexoeb might be stalking you. I like how I assumed Jack Soy was the stalker and not Maestro. That's that's something I'm gonna have to deconstruct in my mind later. Cause I don't know, maybe Maestro's more more inclined to do something like that. I don't know. That will. Let's uh I think I'm going to use the colored pencil one we just recreated to do the symbols and stuff here. But let's start out with only popped into a few streams a couple of times, but not too long. Yeah, OK, that's fine. You've got a busy schedule. Things have finally winded down. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Brain can't think. Get your stable. Okay. Uh, clipping mask. Multiply. I think this is just white. Okay, now it is gray. Let me see. Yeah, that is going to be dark enough. I need to turn this way down. Way down. We'll just get the creases along the books in this space. I mean, let me, since these are together in tandem, we're going to flip flop between them, I think. Let me make sure I've got the accurate color, not the line base color. Um, Make sure this is set to multiply so it can actually be seen. We're going to do this for where the books touch. Let's see, that one's covering that corner, so we should be okay there. Um, and then let's also come over here where the, the binding. Uh, holds up a little. Okay, I'm going to turn off the lines real quick so I can straighten out this book shape. And I need the stable eraser for this. And I didn't turn the music back on. I just realized how freaking quiet it was. Turn down that size. There we go. Nice and neat. I also need to Um, let's go over here and add a, like a cream in color for the pages. And I need to increase the size of this. Not that much. There we go. Okay, let's turn our lines back on so that we can 
to use our color pencil on them. I think we'll make them the same gold color that's in the magic paper airplane. I need to give her a little minus sign, her a little plus sign, and the infinity loop. Get a mouse. I need to turn that brain upside down, so I think I'm gonna do it on another layer and then we'll come back in. We'll merge them down later. You know what? I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna go back into my book patterns. I'm just gonna use this brush color. I'm gonna single out the brain with the selection tool. I'll do the same for the historian and the pizza. Copy paste. Get rid of this one. And then we're gonna rotate and shrink. Just right into place there. And then I'm going to get the brain. And rotate it. Save me so much time. <laughs> okay. Uh, and there's such a small pixelation, you can't even tell what brush was used. I think I'm going to do the same thing for the letterings. They'll probably be like a white color. See, they're facing this way. There we go. And then we'll just go in and isolate them. For this side. And we'll do an invert and a clear. And we'll take my brush and come in here and fill these in. Whoops with my actual uh, pencil brush. Because I think these may be way too tiny. Oh, no, I was wrong. I was going to say way too ro ro um, 
tiny for the bill, but it did. It was fine. I'm gonna hand fill with some of these spaces that are, are too tiny. This one looks like a shrimp. Okay, and then the logo. Here we go. I gotta turn off my lines and see how that looks without them. Not great. Let's do some cleanup. You know, they're going to be so tiny, no one's going to tell. I need to move on before I get stuck. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the clipping because we're going to do our shading layers next. We need to go to our Table Sketcher. Do a little bit of shading on both sides of this line.
Okay, and then I think I'm gonna get like an overall shading. Let's choose this gray color. And then let's do like an arc here. I did click continue filling, but I wasn't quick enough. I'm going to raise back this a little bit. Change it to multiply. I think I'm going to turn it up a little more. And let's do a group. And compress those down. Which one's this one? Okay, now we're getting into the uh, encyclopedia size books over here. Make sure this is a multiply. Kind of do the same thing with the shading and the edges where the books meet. I don't know why this one's above those. I'll lower it down. Move this down. Now it's going to be a little harder for these Remember these are a separate stack all together so I'm going to move them way down there for now. These ones are much thinner, so we're gonna have to mad layers all out. Yeah, I got a lot of layers. And I've named almost none of them. <laughs> uh I will probably have to shrink them down later for room purposes. I can even get a shading on this one. It's so thin. The true sign of an artist, yes, being completely unorganized and covered with piles of layers and paperwork. Kinda. Kinda gives it some definition, I think. Uh, you can really tell. I 
I'll just go ahead and keep this one color and we'll turn it down because they're all kind of in the same shade range for this set. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing where we'll take that gray color back. We'll do this one. Make sure it's not on a clipping mask. And we'll fill it. Fix up the edges. Set it to multiply. Let's turn it down. I think 40 is good. Let's group these and get them out of the way. And work on the stack back here. I need to fix the fact that there's a lot of gaps in between here. We're just going to take a second to do that. You think being unorganized is part of being an artist? During the creative process, yeah. Whenever you're on a project. Afterwards, that's another story. You can have a very organized workshop, but have a very disorganized active workspace. I have never seen an artist with an organized workspace. But maybe they exist. Okay, yeah, they're much better. I think I'm just going to do a general shading on this one because they're so far in the background. And I think I will just do the clipping mask for it. Because the color warrants it. I say the color, the shape. But I mean... Just got a couple more stacks to go in this little section. Same song and dance. I'm gonna have to fix these. The only existing art is yourself. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Welcome on in. I hope your day has been very grand. I need to make sure. Why is that so much darker than the actual color? I'm on the same layer. Let's try a different. Oh, same thing. Hmm. Guess I'm just gonna have to work with it. like that at all. Why is it darker?
Okay, I can kind of finesse it in my handles. My control piano. I'm still running off the hype from the pizza tower. That was quite the accomplishment. Uh, I am a filthy gaming casual, and I don't think I'd ever be able to get near as far as you did. And the personalized PNG for that one was just so fitting. Okay, let's brighten this a bit. Still too dark. Oop. Too light. Still very light, but I'll accept it. In here, light. the general shading layer into here. I'm gonna have to go get that gray again. Just got this stack. And that should do it for the ground. Whoops. Fix up these edges first. Should be fine. Let's get the shade put down.
What a cute little boba emote. I will take a drink in honor of that emote. Here we go. I'll do an extra hydrate for you. And distract. Thank you so much. What is it with stretching and it just like resets the brain? I don't have any idea where where I was going. Okay. I remember now. These books and stuff. Uh, I'm going to fix up the shape of these a little bit. Just the edge pieces here. Really? Okay, then we just need to fix up. Oh, I know why it's darker. I forgot. I've got to turn off my effects layer. I was like, why? Why is this a thing? I forgot I had a effects layer over everything. Fix this angle. I think this one a little bit too. Not that much. I think we'll also see a little bit of this green one the top here. Let's get the... Can get this lavender color? Fix up some of these holes. And get their findings in here. just going to can I fix that one there and then we'll do some shading make sure I'm on multiply Let's do the general shading because this is still very much in the blurred area so let's not give it too much details. Those up. This one's going to be a little different. I'm also going to come in here. Since the glow's coming off of the uh, uh, airplane there, this front part's going to be illuminated. The rest of it's going to be shaded.
we'll kind of do it like that. I'm just going to stick with the gray. This little edge I miss. Okay, now I can get the effect back on, probably. Go ahead and group those down. Okay, we already did the... Uh, push there. Now we just need the inkwell and the feather, which won't have too much. I think I'm just going to get a little shine on this inkwell. Jack's always quotes his song. Let's get the other details. By the way, hello, other than humans, what are your favorite creatures on Earth? The tree pangolin. If we're talking about living creatures, if we're talking about extinct creatures, Parasaurolophus. What about you? What's your guys' favorite critter, dead or alive? Can you spell that? Yes, I can. I'll even type it out for you. <laughs> It's sad that I can spell this, but I cannot spell. I, I cannot spell most other things, but I can spell Parasaurolophus. <laughs> Watch me get it wrong. It's the duckbill dinosaur, you know, ducky from Land Before Time. By the way, dinosaur vocalations, crustace uh, crustaceous period, Cretaceous period, uh, part two dropped yesterday, and I was vibing so hard to it. I see dino, yes, dinosaur. If you haven't noticed by by some of my uh, decor around here, uh, I am into dinos. What did I do with these papers? Let me bring back these lines. I, don't, I have no idea. These papers are supposed to lay. Okay, I've got a better idea now. I'm gonna come down here and fix some of these so they're more paper shaped. Unless, like, formless blob. We'll 
just go in and group all these. They're already grouped. Let's make a doodle on the paper. Get like an ink. a poorly drawn anime character with a two pointy chin and the eyes too far apart. Neck too long, shoulders too wide. to fix up the uh, magic paper airplane first. I need to come back to its color, clean it up a bit. It's looking kind of dirty. But if it's a magic golden paper airplane, it's going to be kind of shiny, at least at this point. go back on the other one to see how I um, did the glow effect because I don't remember how I did it. I need to fix up the shape a little. do that. Okay. Yeah, I know how to do that. Just going to do some of these selections. Feather it out. Not that much. Saturation, the hue is going to go to a redder color. And this one goes above. Um, this one's going to be add. Then we're going to alert. And also gonna get a little golden radius in here. And blur that. Gonna turn down the capacity on that a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to these books now. And we're going to get the 
golden highlight on them. And we're going to change this to add, lower the opacity, fix up these edges. get the book here taken care of. I think we'll keep it very simple. Just do some shading on it. I think I'll just get some generic squiggles into the pages. Group those. Okay, and now we can put some detail on the hands a little bit. come in here and clean up the space between the first finger and the thumb. Not that much. I need to lower that down. Okay, that makes more sense. And then erase this back a bit. Come in here and fix this up. Now I gotta fix that book a little too. Let's do some shading on the skin. How's it going so far? Uh, it's fine. I still don't know if I care for this composition over going for a more dynamic one, but uh, it's definitely coming together. We'll see how it looks after I get the shading and stuff done over here. This is the focal part of the piece and I'll have the most detail. That's the wrong color. You can always stop if you want. Yeah, I can. But I think I need to try and see this through. At 
place a little bit. And if I get to the end and I don't like it, I could just do it again. down here and fix up. See my selection tool has taken away a bunch of detail from the edges of these features. I think about 55 is good. Let's get some skin tones in here. I'm gonna have to lower this brush. He's a little tiny. They're so small, I may not even have to use my blender on them. I forgot the legs! I need to definitely fix that shoe. tone color again. Is this it? I don't think that was it. Yeah, that definitely was not it. Let's fix up. I'm gonna group all these skin layers and then we're gonna fix up these clothing shapes. Much better shape. I need to fill in the dress. I need to make sure I'm on the right brush. Yeah, that explains why things are a little wonk. Need to fix up these edges.
me to turn on my lines real quick. To get the sheeting in. This part's going to be more shaded since the light's coming from here. I believe on this one. Okay, no, I just did the lighting. So we get the color of the paper airplane. to come back to the blue let's get the uh, back down to the line layer put in a little soul detail Needs to be a little smaller brush. All right, then we'll group the dress up. Need to increase this brush so I can fix these too big. to play. You know, go back to that color. Didn't mean to grab.
We'll do an add one. Yeah, those are gonna have to come way down in tone. I'm just checking out how I did the hair shading and lighting here. Hello, well, looks cool. Thank you. Uh, let's start with the shadows. We can increase this brush size now. Turn this down a bit. And we're gonna do shine. I think right about here where the curve is. I'm going to come here to my blendy brush. Blend these edges a bit. Take my eraser. Let's make some places of intrigue real quick. And then do the blendy again. got to get the lighting glow from our magic airplane and it would just be like right here basically group the hair stuff. Okay, so that was all the things I had sketched down. Now it's just kind of like finalizing the image and deciding where to go from there. But for day, today, we're out of time on stream. So, uh, here's where we have it now. I think I will put it away and we'll revisit it next week and add any final details. Uh, I may redo the dendrite clouds in the sky. I mean, you can't really tell those are dendrites. They're so minuscule. So I may just put a big dendrite as a cloud in the sky. Um, a couple of them. So we'll revisit that. Because uh, just looking at like a thumbnail size of this image, um, the sky is a little long for the rest of it. And I may add a little more shading around the bookshelves to kind of try to bring more focus inward again. But for today, that's all we're going to do. Let me end our music.
And let's uh, move on over here. Just kind of get me into view. All right. Uh, so thank you guys for stopping in. Thank you for lurking and chatting with me. And uh, all that great stuff. Uh, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, have a nice day, you too, SPG. And thank you, Jixoy, for stopping by as always. And I'm glad things are starting to calm down and work out. So that's all we have for today. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, some Cozy Grove and maybe a new game other than Dome Keeper. That'll be exciting. Until next time, have fun, space friends.